Hey, welcome to another pool video on homeowner repair. And in this video, what I'm going to do is I've got to vacuum my pool. What had happened is the pool got overrun by algae. We went on vacation um, while we were gone. All the algae built up. The pool water was really cloudy. So what we do is we did is we shocked it, killed all the algae, and uh, got it to sink to the bottom of the pool. It was so fine. The, so the sand and the filter wouldn't clear it out. So what you should do in this case is when you have a lot of algae um, shock it kill it and when you vacuum it up off the bottom of the pool you don't want to send it through the filter because the algae is so fine that a lot of times it'll go back through the sand back into the pool and you'll continuously have like a cloudy uh, pool and it'll be a pain to clean up so I'll show you what settings to use all right so what you're gonna do is when you have a case like this fill the pool up quite a bit uh, maybe a little bit of a little bit beyond the recommended line level because the pool water is going to drop quite rapidly once you start um, vacuuming but you're going to turn off your filter and then you're going to want to set your valve if you have a multi um, position valve you're going to want to set it to waste that way there um, if you have a sand filter like this one uh, you're going to set it to waste while you're vacuuming the pool it'll come out of the filter and onto the ground and you're gonna have to um, put some more water back in the pool but I'll show you how to hook everything up okay I've just turned my filter off now I've got to come over here and take out the skimmer I'll just skimmer flap right here this keeps all the stuff from going back into the pool and it can be a pain to get out so there's two little tabs right there that's how you get it out and then well, I had this going for a little bit, but it's empty the basket. We hook up the hose. Get all the crap out of there. All right, so now we're ready to hook up the hose. All right, so hooking this up can be a little tricky. So what you're going to do is uh, my attachment goes right into the skimmer. So you're going to want to put some uh, water in the hose to go into the vacuum to get the air out of it. Because you don't get the air out of it once you set the turn the pool filter back on uh, you're gonna get all kinds of air it's gonna earlock the filter it's an easy way to get water into the tube let's put on make sure the pump's on the filter and just put the nozzle on there and just wait for some bubbles to start coming up and you'll see them come out of the vacuum in a second Take it a minute. All right, so once you can start to see like a ripple in the water or some bubbles come up, you'll know there's enough water in your tube. So then you can hook up your filter and turn the pump off, switch it to backwash, and turn it back on. All right, second time was a charm. <laughs> we'll, uh, we're all set up here, uh, water's coming out of the pool, and this is what it's going to look like to have a sand filter like that. So now you can go up, start vacuuming all that dead algae out of the pool. We'll get it right out of the pool, right out of the filter, it won't go into the sand, and it'll help to kill the water. And basically all you would do is just vacuum back and forth as you typically would. You can see all the stuff gets sucked out of the bottom of the pool, and it'll come right out to the filter for you. And that should get rid of all the dead algae in the pool and won't we'll go back into the pool and cloud it back up on you. So I hope this helps you out and definitely leave a comment, ask some questions if you have any. We'll reply back to you.